Hi, welcome to the channel. My name is Byron, and on this channel we talk about topics that have to do with traffic and transportation. Today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. I finally decided I want to buy a bike. So a little bit about my history. I never owned an adult bicycle. I had a bicycle when I was a kid, but that ended quickly when I found out about rollerblades and the movie Mighty Ducks. And like most Americans, we live in a very car-centric society. So now I'm an adult, and I really don't know much about bicycles other than how to ride them. The most memorable time of me riding a bike was in 2014 on my trip to Japan. We did a guided bike tour in the Hida region, and it was an awesome experience. I still think about those times today. I'd like this video to be the start of a journey. A journey towards bike ownership. Maybe some of you have the same questions that I have about owning a bike. Or maybe you have the same fears and concerns that I do. Or maybe you want to talk about it. Feel free to leave comments below. As for me, I've always had excuses when it comes to riding and owning a bike. Let's be honest, riding on a street is intimidating, especially if you're not used to it. Cars going by you, 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, and maybe just a couple feet away. Not only that, I live in California, which has a higher than average bike fatality rate compared to total traffic fatalities and per million population. Another excuse I always gave myself is I didn't have that burning need to own a bicycle. I mean, I can get everything that I needed to get done in a car. And I already had a car, so why would I need something else? I think I favored a minimalist and simpler lifestyle. So why would I buy something that I didn't really need? In addition, I felt the learning curve was high and I questioned if it was really worth it. And what I found out is it is indeed high, but I also took the time to learn some of the fundamentals. Last summer, I took a bike fundamentals course where they had us ride around cones and then eventually on the streets. I learned a lot in that class and it helped me build the courage to take the next step in owning a bicycle. Lastly, by chance, I look back in life and I really didn't hang around a lot of people who rode bicycles. No one in my family or my friends rode a bike regularly. I guess it was kind of normal that I never picked it up. Enough with excuses now. Let's talk about the present. A perfect storm of events occurred that helped me get to where I am today. First, I never considered the recreational side of it. I guess the fear of having to ride on the street made me not think about all the different other kinds of biking there were, including recreational. I imagine when I'm starting out, I might not even be on the street as much, as there are a lot of bike trails around where I live. In addition, I read about the mental and physical health benefits of riding a bicycle. Given that the past year we've been locked down, and I went from someone who'd been playing soccer twice a week to not playing at all, I need to figure out a way where I can get exercise but also have fun in doing it. Another thing is my career as a traffic engineer helped me see the way our infrastructure didn't always accommodate bikes. Riding a bike regularly will help me understand the issues better that bicyclists face. And lastly, I feel it's important to have a mindset of lifelong learning. Riding a bike so far has been a great learning experience, and I'm looking forward to a new perspective I can gain. So I actually wanted to buy a bike last year, but it was really, really hard. Some of you may have seen the New York Times article that stated that bikes were being sold out all over the country. This was due to a number of factors. The pandemic, people wanting to go outside more and experience nature, and also the tariffs from then President Trump caused supply issues with bike manufacturers. And when I called local bike shops, it was true. A lot of the bikes that were under $1,000 were sold out. That just made me more determined to get one this year. So this isn't set in stone, but the kind of bike I'm looking for is in the $500 to $750 range. I don't want to buy something that I feel like I'm going to have to upgrade in the next two or three years. As for the three types of bikes, a road bike, a hybrid, or a mountain bike, I'm opting go for a hybrid. And the reason for me selecting hybrid is I want something versatile. I imagine I'm going to be riding on the road and trails a lot, so a hybrid seemed like the best option. There's also the question of an e-bike. And at the moment, I know that some of them are popular, but I don't feel like I need an e-bike. I'm young and relatively in good shape, and having an e-bike might make maintenance even more complex, something I'd want to avoid as a newbie. There you have it, the events and experiences that led me onto the journey of bike ownership. Have you purchased a bike recently? What was your experience like? What bike would you recommend to me? Post your comments below. See you next time. 
and look out for a future video where I unveil the bike that I decide to buy.